It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do a week ahead for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's for the week of May 11th through the 16th. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra? Hierophant. Hierophant is a higher power. Believe in yourself. Trust your gut. Um, highest authority. Divine guidance. You're being guided. You are protected. Um, highly spiritual being right here. Very... Um, in tune with the higher power. Two of Swords, uh, painful, stressful to choice. You're going to have to make a choice, a decision. Somebody's making a choice. Uh, head versus heart. A head versus heart decision this week. Oh, you have a new opportunity here. You have a new exciting opportunity this week, Libra. You do. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to be loved? Do you want passion? Do you... Uh, or do you want to stay where you're at? Okay, we got the Two of Swords here. Do you want to, you want to keep playing games? Do you want to keep hurting yourself? Do you want to uh, do what your head says? Or do you want to follow your heart? Okay, because this is definitely head versus heart. you got to follow your gut. Hair font is all about gut. So you now this is a higher power that is bringing you an opportunity, but you are definitely going to have to make a choice with the two of swords. Now uh, this is, you know, fear. Okay, there's definitely some sort of fear sitting on the sitting on the fence. Okay, you needed to face your fears. You may be torn in two different directions. Okay, one and your head is telling you to do one thing. Your heart is telling you to do another. Either way, you have a new opportunity. Okay, you have a new opportunity. And it is exciting. Okay, it's brought to you from above because this is God. This is a higher power. I feel as though a lot of you are flogging a dead horse with the world card reverse that's holding on to a something that has already ended. It's staying stuck in the present, refusing to move on, refusing to listen to anyone. Um, no positive change will come if you keep resisting. It's like, and you are definitely unwilling to shed. This is, un, this is unwilling to shed the old. This is staying in an old chapter, staying in an old life, refusing to step in the, over the finish line. Okay. So I think the higher power is bringing you a new opportunity that is very exciting that will allow you to step over the finish line, but you have to be willing to do so. You have to choose to go in a different direction. You know, free will plays a part here. So I think you are being divinely guided to step into your new life, but there's an element of fear. There is. There is fear here. Um, now, the magician reversed is uh, powerless. It's also an abuse of power. You could be dealing with a trickster, somebody that is very tricky. It's interesting because I just did another reading for you all, and um, it did. I did mention trickster a couple times. You have a trickster, somebody that is probably coming back around. Um, and maybe I'll just let both of these go. I will let both of these go, and you'll have the two of them for the week ahead. Um, you are definitely dealing with a very tricky individual who's a liar. This person is a liar, and it feels as though they, and it's lacking closure. It's lacking, they're coming back, and it's interesting. This is very similar. The world reversed. It's like um, something coming back from the dead. I'm serious. It's interesting, because the last one was very, very um, similar. You're like looking for closure when it's already over. You're not learning from your mistakes. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes. If you know, if you can't keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. So we definitely have a tricky individual that you have dealt with in the past that is going to be testing you. This person is going to be testing you this week, okay? But you have an exciting opportunity, a new opportunity as well. So now you got to make a choice. you got to make a choice between the two. Um, ah, King of Cups reversed. King of Cups reversed. It's going to be emotional. It is definitely, I know that it's going to be emotional. Somebody is going to be coming in. They're going to be spilling you over with love, okay? They're maybe love bombing you, saying all the right things, okay? This is somebody who is very romantic, very um, loving. So you're going to be getting some, uh, getting some love, okay? But, but, there's some manipulation here. There's some lies, 
Okay, with the magician right here next to it. They may be presenting themselves to be all love, but it may be just sex. With that ace of wands right there. Okay? So just 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 be careful. Five of Swords reversed. Now the Five of Swords reversed is peace. Can't we just make peace? Can't we just make peace? You know, somebody may be wanting to make peace. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's them. But it's like not heeding a warning. Not listening. Not, you know, not listening to your gut. I think that you, you know, your heart may want one thing and your head says another. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? You're going to be making a head versus heart decision this week. Okay, you may be in, in a very volatile situation with an individual who doesn't want to let you go or you don't want to let them go. However that is, I think that you are, there's going to be some sort of, um, I feel like it's chaos. There could be a fight even, okay, this week. Um, Seven of Cups reversed. You're going to need to be, you're going to make a clear decision. You have to make a decision and stick to it. You do. No more confusion. You need to step out of illusion. Make sure that you are not uh, living in fantasy land because the Seven of Cups is a card of fantasy and it's also a card of consequences. Choose wisely. You are definitely going to be making a choice this week in regards to an individual from your past, I believe, that you once was probably in love with, okay, or committed to. This person hurt you very, very badly. They may have cheated on you. They definitely lied to you. And um, now they probably want a fresh start. I feel like this is retrograde energy and you need to be damn careful. I feel like you are going to be making a painful, stressful decision. You're going to need to be honest with yourself. Keep in mind, all is not as it seems. This person ha definitely is not telling you the whole truth. This is definitely retrograde energy. All is not as it seems. Okay. What they present to you will not be, it will, it, they haven't changed. Okay. They haven't changed. This is about a lesson. The world card is a lesson and this one hasn't been learned yet. Somebody may be lying to themselves because fantasy, fantasy. Make sure that you are not in fantasy land. And, and, and the King of Cups, whoever this person is, doesn't matter what sign they are, sells fantasy very, very well. Very smooth talker. Okay? So, I don't know if you're dealing with Pisces. Don't have to be. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Gemini. Um, Taurus. You, either way, um, you know... I think it's time for you to be happy. You have another opportunity here that could really grow into something fertile, something fruitful, something exciting. Um, there's an opportunity, maybe it's with somebody that is really emotionally available and is looking for a relationship, but you're going to have to choose between the two. So I think this week you're going to be making a choice. You're going to be dealing with two people. Okay, I feel like you're going to be dealing with two people. One person is very, very, very deceptive. Master manipulator. Very much a master manipulator. Um, and they can sell illusion. And they do it very, very skilled. Very well spoken. Very skilled at um, selling fantasy and illusion. Okay, so be careful. Be very, very, very careful. Um, this person abandoned you in the past. They walked away in the past. What makes you think they're not going to do it again? Do not give your power away to a pathological liar who needs supply. That higher power is saying, hold up, wait a minute. That's why his hand, hold up, wait a minute. Are you making the wisest decision here? So Libra, I feel like you are about to be duped with that magician reversed if you fall for it. Be careful. All is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. Things are not clear. Follow your gut. There are unseen problems. You are dealing with somebody that is wearing a disguise. I think it's a Pisces and it could be a family member. It doesn't have to be a Pisces, but I really feel like it is. 
I think I don't know why. You need to be careful. Somebody is hiding something. They could be cheating because in, in my last one, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to let them both go. You'll get to see both of them. I mentioned that this week, something is going to come out. You're going to see clearly exactly who you're dealing with. Wheel of fortune. Things are about to change. This is positive change. Life is always changing. There is about to be a big, huge change in your life. One cycle is ending and a new one is beginning. This is very positive. So this week is a week of positive change for you. I think God or a higher power is going to show you something that was hidden. And it's going to change your direction for the better. Good luck. Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week ahead. We are, I don't usually do them like this, so we're going to do Monday through Saturday. Two cards for each day, sometimes three. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see what comes up, May 11th through the 16th. What do we have for the 11th? Knight of Cups reversed, and the Four of Wands for Monday. What do we have for Tuesday? Balance, which is the Justice card, Tuesday. And the Seven of Coins. What do we have for Wednesday? Wednesday the 13th for Libra. Five of Coins. And Death Reversed. So what do we have for Thursday? Thursday the 14th, the Fool reversed, and the Ten of Swords reversed. Friday, what do we have for Friday? Ace of Wands reversed, and the Eight of Wands reversed, and Saturday, the Five of, the Three of Cups, Three of Cups, I don't know why I saw Five. And the King of Cups reverse for Saturday. And overall energy for Libra for the week ahead. Overall energy, please. What I saw before I even started talking was a rose. And whenever I see a rose, it means romance is in the air. So overall energy for Libra for the week ahead, please. Ooh, Nine of Wands. So you may be caught off guard or you may have your guard up. Okay, maybe expecting some trouble with the Nine of Wands. This is great personal fear. You've been through a serious, you've been through a series of struggles, one right after another, right? It's been a constant freaking battle. So you are like a fortress, right? You are a force to be reckoned with. I feel like you are, you maybe you're feeling alone. You feel like you've been very repetitive and you're expecting trouble. It's like, hmm, what's up? What's up? So I think your guard is probably up this week. You may be on the defensive, ready to, you know, you know, it's like you're looking all around. It's like you, what is up? What's going to happen next? So I think that there's, there's an element of you're not going to get caught off guard because you are, you're just waiting. You're waiting for the next blow per se. Um, so let's just see what we got for Monday. Monday, the 11th, Knight of Cups reversed and the Four of Wands. So, something around your home, but there's, there's, there's something about a gathering or, or get-together. Um, may not be under the most pleasant circumstances. Um, Knight of Cups reversed is, um, it could be an emotional day. It could be emotional. It could be emotions about your children or about your home or about your family or something. It could be emotional, put it that way, with a Knight of Cups reverse. Unable to master emotions very much. You could be dealing with somebody who's not being very emotional to you. They're not being very supportive of you. Um, or there's some sort of tears that come out. It just feels like, and it has to do with your, maybe it has to do with children or it has to do with your family, um, 
Monday is is uh, feeling emotional about your I don't know maybe it's your heritage or your family or um, the lack of support that you get from them or something like that I think Monday is an emotional day where you know you're happy but you're not you know what I mean? It's interesting because this is happiness, but this is not. So I'm happy, but I'm not looking for more, looking for a relationship, looking for more romance. Maybe you're feeling very alone. You know, maybe you're wanting to build a foundation, you know, wanting a family or wanting to have a new home. You're wanting to have a get married, whatever, whatever. It feels like I want a relationship. I want happiness. But um, so for some of you, if you're single, you may be, you know, you want a relationship, but you're not getting it. You know, you're, you're thinking about it. You're wanting to, you're wanting something to happen. You're wanting growth or whatever. Monday is about home and probably not feeling like you're getting the love that you desire, that you deserve or that you need or something like that. So I think Monday, it, it could be emotional. It definitely could be emotional. Um, on the home front, okay, it's, it's emotional. Tuesday, we have justice and we have the seven of coins. Now, the seven of coins is, is something uh, going in your favor. Um, here they happen to be gambling. They happen to be gambling. Um, what's this, an ante up? getting what you deserve Tuesday you're gonna you've been you're investing in something you or you have invested in something and it's time to pay up it's time for you to get what you deserve now this is justice so you're on Tuesday you may maybe you're gonna be getting some money okay or you're striking a deal with somebody you may be striking a deal or something like that there is something that is happening that is very good on Tuesday has to do with money you may be you may win some money or you may um, have invested in something at one point and now you're getting a payoff or a paid up or something like that so this is something um, going in your favor okay Tuesday is very good this is something turning out in your favor you're gonna win if you have if you if you uh, say if you were to go to court or something and not saying that's what's gonna happen you would probably win okay this is a win all right um, but there is somebody that has there's some tricks up their sleeve so you definitely need to be careful okay you do need somebody has some tricks up their sleeve there's no doubt about it so you need to be careful um, be careful with what you invest because you could be dealing with somebody on Tuesday that has some tricks up their sleeve Tuesday Tuesday the 12th okay make sure that you are being honest with yourself and you are looking at every angle of a situation okay Tuesday you're dealing with somebody who has some tricks up their sleeve and you're gonna need to uh, make sure that you are being wise okay make sure that you're being wise whatever's happening I think it's gonna turn out in your favor because I think you're gonna see right through it I mean this is the card of justice is a card of karma and karma sees right through lies okay the justice system sees right through lies and I think that you are gonna see right through whatever this person this this trickster is you're gonna be dealing with a deceptive individual on Tuesday so beware okay you are gonna be dealing with a deceptive individual who has something up their sleeve and they're planning on cheating you so be careful Wednesday five of coins and death reversed now death this could turn out you know the death reversed is a disaster it could be a disaster an incident or an accident an ep an, an, or upheaval okay it could be upheaval be I'm telling you what this is Wednesday so five of coins this is abandonment this is neglect this is begging begging for money um, looking for a handout somebody I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with is maybe looking for a handout and they are very cunning they are very tricky so beware this week and, and it's funny 
This is this is having your guard up, okay? You may need to defend yourself. You may need to protect yourself. You may need to have your guard up by looks of things. This is expecting trouble. Expect some trouble this week, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. That's what this looks like to me, okay? You're dealing with somebody that... This person may have neglected you in the past or they abandoned you in the past. Um, maybe now they're having financial burdens or you're having some of this is financial burdens. Um, barely holding on, barely getting through it. So somebody on, on Wednesday is like barely holding on. They may be begging you, begging for sympathy even. You know, maybe they maybe they lost their job or they lost some money or who knows what and they're begging you for sympathy and you fall for it and you know they laugh behind your back or whatever the case is. This is um It's a dead end, to put it that way. It's not worth your time. So I feel like on Wednesday you have somebody that is going through financial struggles that may be begging for your help, begging for your sympathy. Um, and if it's not them, it could be you. It could be you that is barely holding on. This is barely holding on. It's near death. It's nearly over. Something is nearly over. This is hard times financially. This is uh, the five of pentacles can also be poor health, poor health. So Wednesday there you, there could be poor health, somebody that has some health issues, they're not feeling good or somebody's health could be declining. Not trying to scare anybody. May need help. Somebody may need some help and it could be maybe somebody in your family. I don't know, but this is, um, expect the unexpected. Okay. Expect the unexpected. Something is, is, uh, somebody is cheating. Okay. This is cheating. You, this is the justice. This is maybe getting caught cheating. You know, somebody may get caught cheating. They may get caught lying. Something's going to happen this week. But it's going to turn out in your favor. Something's going to turn out in your favor. Now, this person is very deceptive, very sneaky. We have a sneaky individual here. This person will do anything for money. Anything. Lie, cheat, steal. So you're dealing with somebody that is a liar, that is a cheater, that is in your vicinity, that you are, that you are definitely dealing with. You are dealing with a cheater, liar, sneak. Okay? They may cry poverty. Be careful. Anyway, let's move on to to Thursday. Foolish. Foolish behavior. Reckless behavior right here. The fool reverse. This is reckless, foolish behavior. Bad timing. Unprepared. Heading for a fall. Ten of swords reversed. This is a near-death experience. The worst has happened. I don't know what the hell is going on here. But, you know... The time of swords reverse near death experience. Made your bed now, you need to lie in it. Um, something coming back from the dead, same here. So I'm, I don't know what is going on. You could have somebody that abandoned you, you know, that neglected you, that took advantage of you, took advantage, took, took advantage of you. These are these are both very similar situations here. Uh, Thursday and Friday. It's like it's uh, coming back from the dead. So something is is is. Uh, going to be popping up this person has some tricks up their sleeve this week um, now this is beyond help and there could be I don't know maybe we have somebody in your family or somebody around that has some chronic health problems uh, seriously we got chronic health problems here and here Somebody has made a foolish decision, or they may make a foolish decision to engage with somebody who had abandoned them in the past, thinking there's no closure, it's not over. You know, sometimes you repeat your lessons over and over until you, 
you know, learn. <laughs> so anyway, I feel like Thursday, this is like a very... If somebody made a foolish decision. This is foolish. You know, a foolish decision to give somebody a chance or something like that. Something is... is Somebody, something's getting worse. Somebody's health could be getting worse. And I don't know if it's a parent or somebody that you know. Somebody's health is getting worse this week. I'm sorry. Uh, Friday. By, by, by this day, they may not be able to stand up. They may not be able to get up. Okay? So, you know, sick. Oh, I don't even like this message. I don't like this message at all. Um... <laughs> This is a poor judgment call, heading for a fall. Miscommunication, bad timing, reckless, foolish behavior. Trying to revive something that is already dead. I don't know who you got dealing with you, but you expect the unexpected. Somebody's coming in with some tricks up their sleeve. Could be somebody that wants a reunion with you, okay? They want a reunion, but this person is not emotionally available. I don't know who this person is. What are we talking about now? We're on Friday the 15th. Now, this is something going south. Not growing. Failure to launch. Coming to a halt. No, no, this is blocking. Stopped. Stopping communication. Blocking communication. You may need to block communication with somebody on Friday. You may. I mean, this is blocking communication. Put it to a complete stop. There's no growth. There's no desire to... This isn't going to go anywhere. The spark's been put out. Being weighed down. Somebody somebody is has been weighing another person down. They're about to be blocked. Somebody is going to get blocked on Friday. Could be you or the other person. This is blocked. Somebody's going to get blocked. Because they, this is blocking growth. Seriously. And in order to make something grow again, you have to remove the things that are blocking the growth. You know what I'm saying? So, Friday, there's somebody getting blocked. Getting stopped right in their tracks. Or bad news. This is bad news. Okay? This is bad news. I don't want to talk. I have no desire. I have no desire to move forward in this situation. So Friday is a block, okay? Something being blocked, coming to a stop. Not happening. Going downhill fast. Going downhill fast. Something is going downhill fast on Friday. I'm sorry. I am really, really, really sorry. But on Saturday, we have a celebration. We have socializing. We have that roses, which is romance in the air. So it's celebrating. It's having fun. But we have the King of Cups who can't master his emotions. So on Saturday, this is um, perhaps drinking, going overboard, drinking, engaging in, you know, going overboard, having a little fun, going over, drinking too much, maybe doing drugs, I don't know, um, celebrating, doesn't have to be, but the King of Cups can be very, oh, what's the word for it? open, <laughs> even though, I mean, he's reversed, but he's, you know, very fluid, uh, drinks, does things like that. Um, so anyway, I feel like on Saturday, you may, somebody may be burying their emotions or burying their feelings with, uh, drugs or alcohol or drinking or partying or whatnot, socializing. Uh, trying to bury their feelings. Maybe they maybe they decide that they're going to, going to uh, start talking to other people. They don't, you know, they just need some attention. So I think that on Saturday, 
there's going to be conversations uh, that are being had with uh, friends, family, other people where, you know, there's, it's just celebrating, having fun, burying emotions as well. So it's, it's just blocking out the emotions on Saturday, blocking out whatever has happened here on Saturday. Um, maybe mingling, mingling, socializing with friends, having fun, celebrating, uh, going to a party. And I know people are going to say, oh, it's the coronavirus. We can't go to a party. Well, <laughs> whatever. Some do, some don't. So anyhow, um, On Saturday, there's an individual here that is not emotionally stable, okay? And they're needing some attention, and they're going to get it. They're going to be talking with other people, playing, having fun. Saturday is a time of having fun, socializing, flirting. But one of these people is just trying to bury their feelings on Saturday. So, um, I think that you need to be careful this week. I think you're going to be, it's going to be challenging. I think it's going to be very, it's going to start out very, very emotional. And somebody that maybe you have been in a commitment with or you have dealt with before. Um, or maybe you've been in some sort of relationship with, and it, and it could be a family member. I'm not sure. There is somebody that is, um, very sneaky by the looks of things. This person is very sneaky and they're, they're going to test you. They are definitely going to test you. They're going to test you. They are. And they're going to, and this person is unhealthy. Whoever, somebody is very unhealthy here, whether it's them or it's you. There's somebody that is very unhealthy and things go downhill very, very, very fast. So I feel like this is a week where, you know, something tried to come back. It tried to come back to uh, play with you for some reason, you know, or test you or whatever. And I feel like uh, by the end of the week, you're... You know, you're still emotional, but you're ready to go out and have some fun. You're ready to just socialize and maybe look for another relationship. You get some, maybe you get closure. Maybe you get closure. You get this, um, and this looks like it's an eye opener to me, whatever it is. It, it is. I think that you have somebody that has taken advantage of you that is um, coming back around to uh, see if you've learned your lesson. <laughs> That's what it is, too. Um, and, it, and, and, you know, karma works in mysterious ways. We definitely have some karma here, okay? Um, I think the week ends with celebrating and having fun, though, on Saturday. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to leave this shit behind me. I'm going to block it out. You maybe block out what just happened, you know? Just, I'm, I'm, you can't master your emotions. And I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but so you decide to just, you know, <laughs> I'm going to go have some fun. So it ends on a fun note. It does end on a fun note. Um, even with the King of Cups reversed, I think that... Um, you know, you may want to close yourself off emotionally, but having a little fun is in the cards here. So, um, maybe it's withdrawing. It's withdrawing from this situation and celebrating with somebody else. So there's going to, I think there's going to be some sort of celebration at the end of the week. Okay. I do. I think there's going to be a celebration at the end of the week, but I think it's an emotional one. It is. It's where, I mean, there in even, I don't know what this celebration is, but there even could be tears during this celebration. You know, I'm not sure what is going on here. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm not sure what is going on. But it looks like uh, it's definitely going to be an emotional. Expect the unexpected. You know, it's like it's like a death kind of thing. Um, and endings are hard. Endings are hard, so... Yeah, I feel like this is definitely going to be a challenging week for you. I do apologize. Um, 
Good luck.